G'day viewers, it's Wednesday. You've made it to hump day. Congratulations to you. And uh, look, Wednesday, I think I'm going to make this a uh, uh, what the fuck Wednesday video because I saw this photo today and it was just what the fuck? This is Mark Lathan. Without doubt, one of the most vile, putrid, festering piles of garbage in Australian public life. And there is some serious competition for that title. I'm not saying he's number one, but he's in with a good chance. He was uh, a former leader of the Labour Party, the Progressive Party in Australia, uh, stood in an election against then Prime Minister John Howard, lost. Um, there was some very erratic behaviour from him even then, but since then, his behaviour has gotten worse and worse. I mean, on top of everything else, his ignorance, his bigotry, his racism, his misogyny. Uh, this is the guy who launched continual attacks on Rosie Batty, a woman who became a uh, spokesperson advocating against domestic violence after she witnessed her son beaten to death by his father, her ex her estranged husband. That's how low he is. That's how low he has sunk. And he has gone from being leader of the Labour Party to being nobody to actually joining Pauline Hanson's One Nation. Yes, the party, oh, definitely not racist, just number one with racists. Uh, and he is standing for election in the Senate in New South Wales. The election is this weekend. Enjoy yourself, New South Wales. No idea what's going to happen in that election. It's a bit of a 50-50 toss-up. Will be interesting to see if it brings any surprises. Now, Latham is disturbingly likely to get a seat in the Senate. Uh, and that's shit for a number of reasons. Not just because of his policies. Just because he is so fucking vile. The idea of him getting this job that'll get him a couple hundred thousand a year. And he, he literally never has to work. He mouths all this bullshit like he uh, mentioned in a previous video. He went on with this ridiculous racist bullshit about we're going to DNA test people to make sure they're Aboriginal enough. It's A, ridiculous, unscientific, racist bullshit. And B, completely meaningless. Because he and One Nation are not going to do anything. They don't have any power. In a very small number of cases, they might, might be part of a cross-bench balance of power vote, but they can't put forward ridiculous, brain-dead, racist bullshit. They can spout it, but it's never going to be something that is a law. But it's just that he's going to make this money. He doesn't have to work, ever. He's just a hideous fucking sponge on society. And if he gets into the Senate... You'll make a shit ton of money and not literally not have to do anything ever again. Because he's not in government. He's not even in opposition. He doesn't have to do anything. That really st sticks in my throat a bit, quite honestly. But the photo, the photo astounded me. Um, just such a bodge Photoshop job. Like, and uh, it's just such a laboured attempt at... A pun saying like to a T because there are so many columns on the Senate paper, so many people standing for the Senate. Uh, uh, he's in column T and uh, so it's gone for a shot on the golf course. But he doesn't even have the wherewithal to go to a fucking golf course for a photo. So he got a really shit Photoshop of his head on another picture of someone on a golf course. And it's just like, makes him look like a misshapen mutant. I mean, more than he actually looks in real life. And look, speaking as someone with a ridiculously oversized head, if I'm going to get a lackey to Photoshop my head onto someone else's body, I'm going to get him to just shrink my head a bit, not make me look like a weird, lumpy, twisted thing as they've done to Latham. Although it's fitting. And what's even more fitting is uh, an internet sleuth discovered the original photo is a photo of Donald Trump. And that is just about perfect for Latham to be a shit cut out imitation of Trump. The person who will undoubtedly go down in history as the worst US president, one of the most vile people to ever 
uh, hold public office and with any luck uh, the most criminally convicted US president as well. But all Latham will ever be is a sad, pathetic, ugly, shallow imitation.